Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I would like to show you how you can squeeze, how you can use icons library. But first of all, if you are new to Blender and you just downloaded the Blender, please go to our frequently asked questions and you will see videos in the list. And you can see that we are starting from the beginning, like how to navigate in Blender, how to change the color, how to change the color of the skin or uh, how to change the camera view or render view. So all of these are in different tutorials. Go there, they are easy to follow. They are just two, three minutes long. So it's 10, 20 minutes, you can be pretty skilled and you can do pretty cool stuff in Blender. So I just opened the icons to source files. What we can see that maybe for some people it can be a little bit weird, but we see the gray color. The only thing what we need to change is the, is the viewport shading or uh, this one, uh, which is the render. This is how it will look like. Okay, so in the scene, we have basically the scene set. As you can see, we have five different camera views. They are locked. It means that you can't move with them. If you want to move with them, you need to go here on top. We have the camera and scene, and here are the cameras. If I click here, now I can select the camera. You can change the camera view and it will be rendered little bit differently if you move it there. But the logic is that basically we created icon and you can render it for five different angles. So as you can see here, I click zero. As you can see here, I am just moving in the animation and I can see different angles of the same icon, which is pretty cool because you just need to click render animation and it will render all of different angles. As I mentioned, you can change the angle by yourself. Okay, so regarding the scene and the camera, we have also the lights. These lights can be turned turned on or turned off here, right? So as you can see, I'm turning it off. I can turn it on. And I will show you, for example, with some icons, we have also additional lights with the icon because it sometimes it can look a little bit better with different set of lights for some special icon. Let's take a look on the, in the cassette and see here we can have different types of lights. So here what you can play and it's really important because you can create pretty powerful things if you just change the lighting. And here you can just turn it off and I click zero again. I will go to zero and you will see that the lighting is different. Right, so this is what you can do. Uh, the other thing is that you can change the color of the light and it can be pretty cool if I change here also. So right, you, you see that it's changing a little bit shading. It's not that visible because we are using also these lights. Right, so now you can see that this is like you have the cassette in the dark or some other scene. So it can be pretty fun. It can be pretty powerful. What you can do only with the lights. Of course, if you want, you can just select all. I just clicked and drag and select all. And with the R, I can rotate. If I use Rx, rotate around X axis, R, Y, R, Z, I will rotate to different axis. So Z axis, Y axis, right? So R, X, Y, Z. It works the same with the S scale and I can scale X, Y, Z, but it can a little bit modify the icon and it doesn't have to work. The same with the move tool, move tool, the shortcut is basically the G and I'm going G, Y, X, Z. Now what we have inside and what I was promoting on the web page is that you can see we have different collections. Here is others, here is medic, here is food and drinks, here is Christmas and basic. Cool thing from the basic is that we have different materials. So if you want, for example, change the material here, let's turn on the lighting. If you want to change the material here you just need to go for example i know i like this material or like there are so many different materials and you can you can easily play so from joystick ice cream cone handle uh, gold is here or clay right so clay can be pretty also nice if you combine all clay combinations together so it can look pretty cool I turned off the light, here is from Bitcoin and so on and so on. So pretty, it's pretty easy. You just need to click on the object in the object mode, which you want to 
change. Here is, for example, black. I can change this to, to yellow. So I have this kind of combination. Uh, or I can have, for example, black. Right? So I easily change. And this is what you can do easily. Another thing what I wanted to mention, and I don't want to forget is, uh, for example, there are some special icons like donut. Okay, so let's take a look on the donut. And here you can see that you, you can easily change uh, the color of the sprinkles. Just here you need to find the particle, right? And in the particle you are changing the combinations, right? So for example, I will try something like this and it will change randomly, it will generate on top of the donut, it will generate the sprinkles. So some icons uh, can be done like this way. So if we want to change colors on specific things, this is what you need to do uh, with a donut, for example. Okay, so that's it. This is regarding the material scene and how it's the structure inside. Uh, I would like to show you also how you can combine them together. So for example, if I go to icons, for example, you want to create something like this, right? So you can combine different icons together and create a scene. I, to be honest, I pretty believe that if you combine different com icons together, you can create pretty easily the scene only with the copy and paste function. You don't need to do anything else. It's pretty easy. You just need to know what to copy. I will show you. So for example, I have the cassette. I want to have the camera inside and here it is. Again, I have the light so I can turn it on or off and I just need to select all. I use the shift and now with the G, with the S, I am just making it smaller. If I want to copy, I would suggest to go and duplicate collection, right? And I, now I have the camera. Uh, what is cool is that I just need to select them and voila, I have different cameras. I can change the color of the camera. It can be black and so on. I click zero and now this is like floating around, right? So this is how I can create a scene of cameras and cassettes and to play with that and uh, for example i want to change the material as i mentioned i want to have the black and now what is important is i want to have only black material on this camera so this is why i need to create new material and now i will just change it to this specific material because if you are using the same material is basically like in a in a figma the components this is the same way how it is working also here is that uh, you just need to be sure that you have new material for new icons okay so this is how you can do it let's say i want to add something more okay so i can continue but this is what you can create and it can be pretty fun what you can what you can achieve here. So this is how you can combine the icons inside the icons blender file. But let's say you want to create something like this. So I have multiple illustrations. This is actually from illustrations.design. All of the illustrations are combined together. So you can see that I have hamburger here, or I have the icon of the of the light, or I have the the hearts or the rocket here. So basically, the idea. Okay, so I have I have the illustrations here. Uh, right, I have the black female in some pose, or I can change the pose as you can see here. But the important thing is that I want to I want to append. So I'm going to file, append. Now I want to find the icons library. And in icons, I need to go to collection. And now I want, I can append whatever icon I want to have. Let's say I want to append burger. It's here. And as you can see right now, I can, she can point toward it, right? So I'm just moving around. And that's it. This is, this can be pretty fun because you can just put it like this. It can be a huge hamburger and it can promote your brand, your client's brand and so on. So this is pretty fun because I can go and append. Let's say I would go for candy. Right now I have the candy here. Okay. Uh, it can be like giant candy here. So this is how you can create your own scenes, how you can combine the illustrations, characters, avatars animals with icons and to be honest i think this is where it, it's getting powerful because you can combine multiple libraries together and you can create your own scene as you can see here 
we created our own scene with the illustrations and icons okay so here is the same here are the characters like multiple characters and here is donut for example or here is the uh, some ring or pets and together we can create a scene so this is how fun it can be if you just combine the things together and you can create the scene okay this is it this is everything from my side thank you so much for watching if you have any suggestion what we should add into the tutorial on into the icons please let me know below the comments if you have any question reach out to me at samuel3d.design if you want to learn more about the icons library go to icons.design and if you want to learn more about our other libraries and to combine illustration, characters, pets, and animals, and everything together to create a scene, definitely go to 3D.design. Have a great day, stay creative, bye.